This is the second exploration for pronation. So you're going to stand with your feet under your hips and you're just going to begin to rotate. And again, don't go into any discomforts. And if you want, close your eyes and you're going to feel it. Hopefully, as you rotate to your left, you'll feel your right arm start to flatten. As you rotate to your right, you'll feel your left arch to flatten. That is pronation. Um, Three-dimensional movement of forefoot, rear foot, and all sorts of joints up and below. Now, as we rotate to the left and feel pronation in there, there's a few things which should happen. One, or shouldn't happen. One is we shouldn't feel the foot capsizing off the floor. Second, is we should start to feel the arch lower. We should start to feel the joints medially in the middle start to open up. Hope you won't feel any gripping in the toes. And if you slow it down, you will feel your knees start to unlock and your hips start to extend. So in the foot workshop, we found that if you have a hernia scar here, quite possibly it prevents this motion from happening. We also found if there was knee surgeries, arthroscopies, that rotation and unlocking of the knee quite possibly won't happen and then will block the movement down here in the ankle. Any scarring from giving birth could possibly affect all this as well. So all you're going to do is gently explore left and right. And you'll probably find that left and right feel quite different. And that just tells us something. 